Welcome everyone. Today is a juicy day because I finally get the opportunity to show you guys Super Mario World inside Super Mario 3. But it's not just going to be Super Mario World. There's actually a little bit of um, a treat of what's inside Super Mario World inside Super Mario Brothers 3. So this is going to be awesome. Let's talk a little bit about the background behind the person who's made this and the reasoning for it and what they're all about. So I'm sure you guys have all heard of somebody named Orange Expo. He's actually the man who created the Early Hammer Manipulation Tass. I was able to connect with him back in 2018 and we were able to go through what exactly we needed to get done to make Early Hammer Manipulation possible in Warpless. He even has a tutorial of what to download and where to get all the things. So if anyone's ever interested in that, uh, you should definitely check out this website. It's smb3.bfo.org. I'll leave the link in the description below for anyone who's interested in reading up the history and a lot of the back end stuff that he does. It's really, really cool stuff. He even puts proving the naysayers wrong. Typical Karua, typical Karua. Always saying no. But anyways, if you don't know him through this, you might actually know him through Super Orb Bros. Yes, he is the creator of Super Orb Bros. I ran Super Orb Bros at GDQ, which was heavily modified. So now that you know that, thinking and hearing about Super Mario World inside Super Mario Bros. 3. So what do you all think is actually going to be in Mario 3? Do you think it's gonna be a whole hack of Super Mario Bros. 3? with like Super Mario World inside? Is it gonna look like Super Mario World? Well, let's let's actually find out exactly what Orange Expo had in mind. I just wanna clarify one thing before we continue. Orange Expo specifically says that if I do a video to make sure that it's clear that the purpose is to show off the tech ported from Super Mario World. Ooh, what does that mean? So are you guys ready to dip in? Are you guys ready to check this out? I'm gonna play it. Let's go. I cannot wait for you to see this. All right, let's do this. All right, so here we are. We have Mario 3 loaded up. What? It looks the same. Where the heck is Super Mario World? Two player, nothing modified. What? World 1? Nah. All right, you guys know that I know. Okay, let's just get right to it. So as soon as we start the first level, boom. Now, what is this? What does this look like? What is this? What does this look like? I think we all know exactly what this looks like. Let's get one more quick look. What does this remind you of? This is insane. Yeah, I just did a spin jump and it made you hear that the spin jump noise. This is incredible. This is one of the most insane things that I've ever seen. It's legitimately Grand Pooh World 2 first level marathon. Look at how clean this is. Get the hell out of the way, Mitch. We're gonna try it again. I'm gonna try and get as far as I possibly can. And I'm telling you, this has re-grabs. I'm moving exactly same. Oh, come on. I'm moving the exact same way as Super Mario World. Like it's all the same. This is incredible. I'm surprised the Hammer Brothers even, even moving on his own. All right, let's see how far we can get. This is one of the most incredible things I've ever seen in Super Mario 3. You got the spin jumps? Oh, that's, that's tough. Oh, that one's tough. All right, PB, PB at the green platform. This is crazy. Look, the flying platforms and everything. Spin jumping and to do the, to, to do the precise jumps. What? No, what? The, no way! No! Oh my god, what is this? I cannot believe that it has the number platforms. How do you even do this in Mario 3? Orange Expo is actually insane. He is actually insane. Now, I know the level is not fully completed, and he does plan on completing the whole level. He does plan on finishing it. Game over, just like Grand Pooh World 2. What a surprise. Well, you don't actually get game overs, but I think you know what I mean. All right, let's keep trying. This is... Look, I re-grabbed at the wrong spot, just like Super Mario World. This is crazy. All right, I'm gonna keep a uh, safe state so I can... Uh... Yeah, there we go. This is insane. Spin jump, just like in the run. Small spin jump. Yeah. Yeah. 
No! You do the you do the pop jumps with the spin jump. That's crazy. That is incredible. We got a PB though. The upside down munchers, that's like not in Mario 3. Sick. This is what he has so far though Look, it's got the death blocks and everything. This is the craziest thing I've ever seen Damn, that's it though Apparently this has taken him a couple weeks. I don't know about you guys, but just that alone was incredible And the whole point of this is to show off like a lot of the porting abilities that you can do uh, into Mario 3 and uh, if if he ends up making a tool that allows you to port some of these things, like maybe the platform, maybe the spin jump into your own ROM hacks, this would be insane. But for now, we have to wait to see what else he does. All right. I really, really, really want to know in the comments what you guys think about this. Were you expecting that? When, when I first heard he was talking about doing this stuff, I was not expecting it to be the marathon level, the first level in Grand Pooh World 2. But I mean, what else can we do? Uh, I don't think he's gonna plan on making like the entire Grand Pooh World 2 or anything and he's expressed Massively that he's not trying to copy Barb or anything He's just using one of the most popular ROM hacks for Super Mario World as like a template to like build and maneuver around and The marathon level is a fan favorite. That is a great level in Grand Pooh World 2. So uh, yeah, like I really really want to know what you guys think and uh, if we can get some more ROM hacks like this Do you want me to play it every update every time he updates me with new stuff? Do you want me to try release it and show you more and more and more because you do know in that marathon level There's supposed to be a Koopa out of the shell and a Koopa that kicks the shell if we see that in Mario 3 I am gonna lose my mind. Okay, not to mention there's already uh, naked red turtle shells in this one which again is not in Mario 3 we have the we have the carrot platforms, the number platforms, the swaying platforms, the green and orange platforms that that drop, just incredible. The fact that you can spin jump on the piranha plant, that's even crazier. Oh my goodness. I am just so excited to see more of this, but make sure to subscribe and like if you want to keep getting updated on the content. Hit that bell so you're notified as soon as something comes out. I'll post it and you'll get notified too. So, yeah, thanks everyone for watching and man, that was a lot of fun. Thank you.